Hello, welcome to Colorado High Altitude Hunters. Uh, I've got a lot of requests here in just the past talking about, uh, hey, can you demonstrate some of your you know, open read calls? So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down some of the open reads. The reason why I really wanna break them down is because I don't really feel like there's a lot of videos out there. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there demonstrating the calls as far as uh, diaphragms and even in my Instagram post you'll see me and I've, I've talked about this if you can master the diaphragm your elk encounters will be you know much you'll have much, much more success right as far as encounters so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down our open reads and let me tell you you can work some magic out there in the woods all you have to do is practice just like anything else so I got three different manufacturers here and I'll break these down and uh, how I like to use them. But I promise you, I at least like to take two open reads because it gives you two different qualities of sounds and it makes it sound like a herd out there too as well. So uh, the first one we'll break down is the Hyperlip from Primos. Uh, hands down, it's probably one of the best ones on the market in my opinion. Uh, the reason being is they have this baffle and it kind of baffles the sound. Um, and I, hands down, I've, I've heard these, uh, I've heard elk sound just like this in the woods. So, with that being said, I also have uh, the Floozy from Mile High. Uh, very, very quality. It's made out of some wood and it has the castration ring on here instead of on the reed. Um, very, very good quality sound. I haven't used this in the woods yet, but I can tell from experience that this, this call is going to definitely be on my neck in the woods. And then I also have the Voodoo from Rocky Mountain uh, Elk Calls. These guys make some great quality sounds. I think this one came out last year, if I'm not mistaken. Might have came out the year before. And uh, it makes a higher pitch sound, but very similar to the Floozy. Uh, so when I blow them, you'll hear those sounds. So one thing I want to point out, and you'll probably notice this right away, is I remove my castration rings that are on my... Uh, uh, open reads, reads. When you, most of the time when you buy an open read, it'll have a castration ring on the read. Uh, the Floozy does it. They did a different design. I kind of like this. It kind of pinches the top and, and seals it up at the top. But if you notice on most of your elk calls, it'll be a castration ring on there. That, that ring is identified basically by a green color. I removed that so I can utilize the whole reed when I'm blowing it. Now, when I'm blowing these calls, I like to use the reed up instead of down. You'll notice in some, some callers, they use it and they blow it like this. I don't, I like to blow it like this. Also, another thing that's different that I do is I don't use my teeth. Some people use their teeth and they, they bite down on it. And I, I found out that you can't control the sound as good as if you just use your lips. So, just like if I was had false teeth and I was taking out my teeth, my gums would fold in, I mean my lips would fold in over my gums. It'd be a natural instinct. So, I'm gonna do the same thing on my recall. So it looks like this. And all I'm doing is rolling from the front to the back. I try to just push as I'm blowing, try to push my lips from this side to this side, sounding like this. And if you notice that I'm rolling my lips forward, as I push the call in, I'm blowing and controlling my pressure. And all I wanna do is make a sound, and then we can get into more detailed calls later on, cause you can make chirps and everything else with these calls, but something like this. And then you just drop it at the end. All right, so these sounds, I'm gonna give you all the different quality sounds. The floozy. The voodoo. These sound very similar. There's a little bit deeper tone. It sounds like a middle-aged cow, an older cow, maybe an estrus and a younger calf kind of sound. Um, basically, what I'm, what I'm really here to say is that don't overlook the open reads. There's a lot of great ones out there. 
All you have to do is grab a couple of them and practice with them. So with that being said, one more time, and all I'm gonna do is roll my lips forward and Now, if you wanted to make a chirp or something, just cut it short. You don't have to roll your lips forward. So it's... And all you're doing is blowing and letting loose. Blow. Yep. Yep. The voodoo. And I'm gonna tell you, if you have some of these around your neck and you're in the woods and you can't master the diaphragm, you can always use these. Now I will say this, my wife has the hardest time still to this day blowing a diaphragm call. But I promise you on her neck, it's at least two of these. That way that when we get into that situation where I'm the shooter and she's the caller, she always has an arsenal of different things that she can use. So most of the time, you know, you can tell when what call she's blowing. So she'll be blowing the open reeds, and I can tell that she's blowing those open reeds. But I'm going to tell you, she can pull those bulls right past me just with these. And she doesn't even have to use a diaphragm. But if you want a massive diaphragm, please follow uh, Elk 101. Corey Jenkinson does a great job explaining how to do all that stuff. Um, as far as the open reeds, I, I'm going to go down the line later on and kind of open up uh, for some suggestions and things that you might want to see later on. But as I said before, all I do is I take my castration rings off and I roll my and I roll my my lips forward over the call. And all I'm looking for is quality sound. So if you can grab some of the higher end calls, then I promise you, you're going to do you're going to be successful out there in the woods. But don't overlook the open reads. And once again, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and then YouTube channel. Subscribe on our YouTube channel, and then you'll also see some of our up, uh, upcoming videos as far as the things that we're going to talk about as far as physical attributes, things that you might, might need to do. And listen, I've talked about this before. What we really want to do is focus on is guys that, uh, that are out of state that want to come to Colorado and be successful. So please follow us here in the future. And thanks again for following.